had to make it through the pain. Yo, 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 what up, I can't call it, man. I'm glad to be out here, man. Out here in Riverdale, Georgia, man. Yes, sir. Man. So, uh, on land, man. This is the this is the field when you come out here playing around. You get stepped on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Right here, it, okay. It, it, I it feel been, the energy. Yes, sir. It's been a lot of folks. Right there, oh. stuck down. Yes, yeah, sir, yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, sir. All right, man, we're going to jump right into this interview, man. I've been making my rounds. Uh, this is my first trip to Riverdale. Yes, sir. My first exclusive interview with Coach OG Moon. Yes, sir, I'm yes, sir. glad to have you. Yes, sir. Uh, we're going to get right to business, man. Uh, tell me a little bit about your organization and how long you've been coaching. Uh, well, of course, I coach for the Riverdale Blackhawks. Um, we located right off Church Street, uh, Highway 85. I've been in it for about maybe 10 years now. Um, just a little bit about us, man. We great family oriented uh, program, man. Every Saturday, we out here like it's like a barbecue kickback. Yes, sir. Um, plus we having good football, man. We got good coaching, good training, all that good stuff going on, man. It's stepped on land, man. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, a little birdie told me that y'all do a little bit more than just football. Uh, you want to expound on that for me? Oh yeah. Like, well, a lot of folks don't know we do. We we a three sport program, man. You know, stepped on records, man. Athletics. Baseball, basketball, and of course football, man. So we in the middle of the uh, baseball season right now. Yes, sir. We're going to go out there and check out the baseball yeah, team man. after we do the interview. Yeah, championship bound all sports, too, man. They ain't, they ain't going to talk about that one either, man. But, yes, sir. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> we doing it big over here, man. All you got to do, hey, come sign, man. Yes, no sir. 360s, no 360s, <laughs> no 360s. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, for those of you who don't know, man, Coach Moon is a good friend of mine. Uh, most of y'all know me from rocking with my boys down there in Griffin. But my second home in Clayco, oh, where yeah. I met OG Moore. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, man. We go way back, man. Yes, sir. Way back. Yes, sir. All right. So, speaking of my Griffin family, Coach Rondell, who actually is the, one of the coaches over at the, uh, he's 8U Stallions coach. <laughs> yeah. I want to say he's defensive coordinator. Mm -hmm. Defensive coordinator, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. uh, I had an interview with him last week, mm -hmm. and I, I told him I felt like, the Riverdale Blackhawks was the biggest threat to, you know, them going back to back. Uh, he said his piece. Did you get a chance to check that out? Yeah, I seen a little bit of it, man. I, I, I peeped it, man. I, I appreciate what Coach said. And, um, you know, when we locked up with him, great battle, man. Great battle. I think it was a great game for our, uh, four quarters. Yes, sir. They scored with a minute and some change left in the championship game, man. Hats off to them folks, man. He got a great defense over there, great coaching over there. Pancho doing his thing. I respect what them folks got going on. But if you asking me what I think about this year. Yes, sir. Exactly what I'm doing. Step down, man. Step all down. The, all the step down. Like this? Step down. Or like. Oh, they know They know when they <laughs> step down, man. They, we, them boys start cranking that dance across that field. Everybody know what time it is. When you get stepped on, yes, them boys get to stepping. But ain't you, man. I, I, I just can't see it, man. We, we had a little. Mishap last year, man. We got a bit of taste in our mouth, and my boys ready. They yes, they coming back with something to prove, like baby say, something to prove for real. Yes, sir. So, ain't you <laughs> stuck on? You heard what they <laughs> said in the, in the video. Stuck on. Now I've been watching our uh, social media. Uh, you post, you don't post too much, but you uh, you post here and there. I've seen you lost some key players, man. I think you lost one of your players to a team down in Florida. Am I right? Yeah, 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 yeah. How, yeah. how you think that's gonna impact the team? Oh. Uh, Great kid, great player, great talent, man. It, it's hard to replace those kind of kids, but we in the business of, of coaching up. So the motto around here, man, I make one, I can make two. Yes, sir. I can make three. Okay. So, like I said, but one of our great key players, man, one of our playmakers, he actually uh, committed to the Bengals, PPO Bengals. But, um, yeah, we're going to miss him. Yes, but, sir. like I say, man, I'm Cold Moon, man. Can't go to the living room. I I, I got something for y'all, man. Yes, in, that, in that exact spot, <laughs> I got something for y'all. All right. So, uh, I didn't get a chance to check out AU much at all last year. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I can't name one game that I watched. Mm -hmm. So, I want you to fill me in outside of your team and the Stallions. Who else is waving around that top three, top five in the league? Um... Stockbridge. I think Stockbridge had a pretty tough team. Uh, the first time we played them, it was a great game. Yes, sir. Second time we played them, want to go to the championship. Excellent game. Uh, I think Stockbridge is one of the teams you, you should watch for. Uh, gotcha. Griffin, another scrappy team, man. I, I, I like what uh, Flew down there doing, man. Oh, yeah, Coach Flew. Big um, Flew. Who else? Uh, North Henry Purple. They got a great team. 
Um, it, it's a very competitive league, man, at, at, at this eight-year division. But uh, those will probably be the, the three teams that just come out top that I feel like that will be in the mix at the end. Griffin, Stockbridge, North Henry Purple. Okay. All right. So something that I know because I'm JPN TV and I'm, you know, I'm going from place to place, from team to team, organization to organization. Mm -hmm. uh, Forest Park, they're they doing a big revamp and they're doing a revamp at every age group. Yeah. There's been a lot of smoke in Battlefield with 11 you, you know yeah. what I'm saying? They, they've been going at it. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of smoke in 9U. Well, I think it was 9. I want to say 9U. I, I'm almost sure they got a team eight you. Mm -hmm. I think they're gonna be. I don't know which one they got. They got so many new teams. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure what their team is, but I, but that. From what I'm hearing from the organization, mm -hmm. they don't care what age group you is. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think it's so icy. Mm -hmm. Ooh, <laughs> speaking of so icy, man, shout out to David. Yeah. So them so three hundred so icy. Yeah. How you feel about that? You uh. I you, mean. I don't, hey, we put our pants on like everybody else. So I actually gonna get that shit all oh, screw me. They, <laughs> they gonna get it too. Yeah, yeah okay. They gonna get it too. We ain't, we ain't really worried about none of that, man. Like I say, that the, the, the name of the game is Beat Me. Yes, and I'm, I'm gonna speak on that. Everybody out here know, man. When it come down to this Clayton County, Georgia Municipal Spiffle, whatever it is, yeah. everybody know what time it is. It's Championship not. moon, man. All right, so yeah. I'm going to do a call out real quick. I know we just spoke on it, but it's one particular post that sticks in my mind. Now, now, that, now that I remember that it is the so icy at you, yeah. last week I seen a uh, post from Coach, is it Curl or Carl or? Uh, I can't think of his name. I think it started with a K, but mm -hmm. he's the I think he's the head coach mm -hmm. of the eight U so icy boys. Mm -hmm. And he said, don't nothing move in the GNYFL unless it come through 300. He knew her. He knew her. Man, look, man, check check the resume, check the background, check all that. He knew her. Yes, sir. Yeah, young, he a puppy. Oh, he a puppy. Yeah, yes, sir. He's a puppy. He, the folks he running with. <laughs> they, <laughs> look, don't they? They ain't 300 moving like stuff on records now. Yes, but sir. we ain't gonna say you yes, know sir. too much. But Moon put the blueprint out there for everybody, baby. Yes, so sir. I just want to see everybody do good. But when it come down to who running or what. Stuck on. Still no. We we been running it. We gonna stay running it. Everything. Yes, sir. Everything. Before we wrap this up, is there anything that you want to get off your chest? Anything you want to say to the league, to any particular no, team, or man. anybody? I, you know, I'm. You know, I'm. I'm. I'm cool with everything going on, man. I think we got one of the best leagues, if not the best league, in Clayton County, in Georgia. Um, I just look for some good football coming up in September. Good luck to everybody, but at the end of the day, man, be careful what you say, because you got to stand on it. Oh, you got to stand on it. Yeah, you got to stand on it, man. We ain't going to tip on Stomp on it. Step on it. Yeah. All right, man, this your boy, J-Pen, with J-Pen TV. This is my exclusive interview with Coach OG Moon, Riverdale Blackhawks, AU. That right. Stepping on everything out here, you feel me? So, y'all stay tuned in. It's going to be a season to remember. We out here. Salute. Appreciate that, bro. I can't wait to see that, bro.